You're a vindictive, hateful professor, and one of your pet peeves is when students rush through their exams. To teach them a lesson, you decide to give zeros to the first three students who score less than 60 in the order they turned in their exams. So given a 1D array of integers, identify the first three values less than 60 and replace them with zero. All right, so here's the solution that I came up with. Let's go ahead and break it down. So before I explain it, I need to rebuild my scores array. And now let's just start with this part, scores less than 60. So this is pretty straightforward. This just determines whether each score is less than 60 and it returns a Boolean array. So now the guys we're interested in are the true values. Those are the people who scored less than 60. And what would be useful is if we could get the index of each true value. So NumPy has a handy function called non-zero, which returns the indices of elements that are non-zero. So if I have an array like np.array, open parens, square brackets, zero, one, two, zero, and I call dot non-zero, it spits back a tuple with indices for the non-zero elements. So in this case, indices one and two have non-zero elements. Actually, let me make this three and four just to make this a little bit more clear, right? So it's indices one and two have non-zero elements. So the reason it returns a tuple is if you have a multi-dimensional array, like let's say, for example, you had a 2D array, each element of the tuple would return an element that corresponds to a single dimension. So uh, for a 2D array, the first element of the tuple would give the row indices, and the second element would give the column indices corresponding to those non-zero values. So in our case, we just have a 1D array, so we get back a tuple with one element, which looks kind of stupid, but that's why. So we can actually apply this non-zero function on this array of Boolean values because Boolean values, well, false and true are synonymous with zero and one. And you can use them with multiplication, uh, division, functions like non-zero. Um, it comes up as a super useful trick in many circumstances. So what we can do is we can say uh, scores less than 60 dot non-zero. And this gives us a tuple where the first element has the indices of these true values. Again, true is one, false is zero. So then if we just do square brackets zero, we can pick out that array. So now we're getting back the array of indices with true el uh, elements. And then we wanna get the first three people, the first three true elements. Um, so the first three people who scored less than 60. So we can say square brackets colon three, which means give me every element up to but excluding the third index. And now we have the indices for those people. So now we just need to say uh, scores, square brackets, and then identify those people and give them a big fat zero. Now if I print my scores array, you can see that it updated as we wanted. 